Okay, hi guys. Um, I said I'd do a video uh, showing you how to open up your XO PC and replace a card or memory or something, so here it is. Um, this is the prototype. I'm not actually using the PVT because I don't want to uh, blemish it. So um, here goes. Basically, just turn it on its front. Um, make sure there's nothing underneath it, obviously. You don't want to scratch the screen. Um, you see this ridge here, uh, just get your nails and kind of pull it off like that, see it just pops off, okay, and then you've got two screws, one here and one here, just undo them, okay, I'm just going to get them out with the tweezers because they're quite fiddly. Put them to one side. Okay, now this is actually the tricky part. Um, just going to get the right screwdriver. Okay, there's a couple of hooks. Um, I don't know if you can see. Just here and here which are the tricky um, clips but basically what you do is uh, take in your left hand take the front of the screen and in your right hand you kind of want to with your thumb move it to, to the right so push with the left and pull with the right whoops that's all right it's fine. Okay. So, and then you'll be, you'll end up with this ridge across the top, and you kind of just want to prise it a little bit more out. Okay. Now, you see that separated a little bit more. Let's just run your finger in. Okay. You see that? Right, now, what you want to be careful of is this part here because they are your ribbons for the screen and the digitizer. So what you want to do is you now want to take that part in your right hand, flip it over like that, and open it out. And there's your internals. Okay, now, be very careful of these ribbons, um, especially USDS. Um, what you want to do is there are two little clips. Um, okay, just here. They're just little ribbon clips. So you just want to uh, flick them off. Pull the ribbons out. Just makes it a little bit easier so that you can just flip it over then and you haven't got to worry about it. Okay, this metal shield here is normally screwed in, but I haven't bothered screwed it in, screwing it in the last time I've uh, put it together. So you just take the tape off. Just put the tape to one side. Okay, and then you'd unscrew um, a screw here, 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 here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once you've done that, just lever up with tweezers or something similar the cover out of the, the little seat that it's in. And do that all the way around. Now, what you'll have to do is just lay that over like that. Um, I've actually cut mine so I can take it all the way off. Now, you can see this is the um, 3G GPS card, and this is the one that we're going to be replacing, because obviously in the non-3G models you won't have that there. So, what I'm going to do today is install this extra SD card reader, which I can't get open.
which I bought off eBay very, very, very cheaply. I think it was eBay. Okay. Okay, so this is a SD card reader that reads up to 64 gig cards. So that's what we're going to be replacing the 3G card with. Obviously you won't have anything to replace. So, right. so let's pop off the antenna. Get out. Pop off the secondary antenna. Get it out of the way. Okay, and unscrew the screw. Okay, and just pops up. Just pull that out, and there's the 3G GPS Huawei card, or however you say it. Okay, so simply take your card, slide it in at the same angle as the other one came out. You might want to take the protective plastic off first. Very tricky if you haven't got nails. Okay, so take the card off, plastic off on me, and I'll screw that back in. Quite careful not to lose the screw. Now I'm only going to do one screw because this, this is only temporary. This is only a test. What I will do is I'll get my SD card. Which is only an eight gig, um, and I'll put that in straight away. <laughs> okay. Don't do what I just did. Put your SD card in beforehand. Okay, now I'm just going to tuck these wires out of the way. So see there the antenna. I think I might use this tape. Being careful not to cover up the camera, of course. Right, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm not going to put the uh, the protective shield back on. I'm just going to put that tape over there. Now, this is the tricky part. You have to get the ribbons back in. So, it's quite a delicate process. Okay, that one's in. And the second one's a little bit trickier. Just a bit smaller. I would definitely recommend tweezers for this. It's really fiddly. As you can see. Okay. Put some pressure on it to stay in while you close that down. Okay, now that's done. Now what you want to do is there's a there's a couple of little hooks on the back of the unit underneath, or back of the screen, sorry, underneath. You want to make sure that they are sitting right inside before you lower it down. That's right. Okay. Make sure that these clips at the front have got clearance. So that they can click down as well. Okay, which that has. And then the best thing to do I find is just hold it flat and then push the screen so it goes down towards the bottom. Just like that. And so you have a nice tight casing again. Okay, so 
screws obviously this is just the opposite of what you did in the first place it's not rocket science okay and then this uh, cover should just literally clip back on so you, you've got some little hooks there there and there just make sure they line up with the holes um, on the unit here put them in and then push it so that it clips and there you go you've now taken your exile apart safely Steve safely and uh, put it back together again